Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be finishing up my Q&A with the plant related questions and let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first question is what is the first plant that you ever had? The first plant that I ever had was a burrow's tail succulent. It was probably like a four, two or four inch pot, really, really little and I planted them and I don't even really know what happened. They just kind of withered away slowly. I feel like everybody has a story like that. <laughs> But the first plant that I actually had success with was a basil plant, the herb, which honestly, I really need to get more basil because I used to be really great at growing it. Um, but my first actual like house plant, tropical house plant was a rubber tree. Let me go get it. Here she is. <laughs> yes, this is my first house plant ever. It is a burgundy rubber tree, I believe. She is totally beautiful and just Oh my gosh, I love her so much. It took a really long time for her to put out new growth. And so what I ended up doing, I'll show you. This was like the first risky thing I ever did as a plant parent. Um, but if you can see here, there's a notch here. And so I ended up cutting off some growth right there so that it would branch out. And it basically just wasn't growing for months and months and months. And I just wanted to see what would happen. And actually, ugh, <coughs> gross. I cleaned the leaves last night with milk and water and last night my house smelled like milk and like I love milk, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to smell it <laughs> when I'm like not drinking it. And so I think that was a bad decision, <laughs> but it, it did shine the leaves pretty nicely. So um, I'm thinking about doing like a leaf shining video. So we'll see about that. Okay, back to the questions. I'm getting off track already. How many plants do you have? So I haven't counted my plants in a really long time, but I did it just for you guys. And I counted in, let me get my calculator, 58. I have 58 plants to my name currently. I have about 40 something at my house right now and 15 at Daniel's. And you know what? He's already starting to complain about the plants over there and he hasn't even seen like, <laughs> yeah. He hasn't even seen all of them in one place before. So yeah, this is gonna be quite the shock to him, I'm sure. Hopefully I don't have to give any away. I did think that I had a lot more than that. Like I was kind of nervous to count because I thought it was more like 100. I acquired like 10 plants recently. So it's good to know that I've been keeping my number down. Um, obviously my house is really small so it doesn't really allow me to have a lot of plants. Do I have any plant book recommendations? So I am definitely a reader as we've talked about before. I studied English in college, I love to read, but I'm not much of a nonfiction reader. However, I do have some people on Instagram that I follow that have published books and I will definitely link their books down below. One of them is by at Houseplant Journal. He wrote two books now actually. And then another book, I don't remember who wrote it, but it's called How to Grow a Houseplant and Make It Love You or something like that. But I'll definitely link those down below or in the cards and um, so you can have access to those if you want. What plant zone am I in? Plant zones kind of confuse me, but I'm pretty sure that I'm in zone 9B, which is the really hot and dry zone. <laughs> Do you have a favorite place to buy plants and what are your thoughts on buying plants online? So interesting question. I do have a favorite place to buy plants and it's pretty much just local places. I really enjoy supporting local businesses just in general, like in a lot of aspects of my life. There are a few nurseries in town that I really enjoy going to. Some of them are Green Things and then also Mesquite Valley Growers. And online plant shopping, I haven't done a ton of it just because I know that would be a way that my plant buying would really get out of hand. So I've only done it once before. I purchased a string of hearts, a variegated string of hearts and it turned out really bad. Oh, and I also bought, within that same transaction, a Monstera Adansonii, and both of them were just pretty disappointing to me because I, when I buy a plant, I like to look at it, see it, feel it, look at the health, look at how big it is, and then buy it because, as I've talked about in previous videos, I don't just buy plants to buy plants. I'm very calculated in my buying decision making and so buying online is just a little bit riskier for me and I try not to do it. However, I did buy some plants online from a company called Gabriella Plants because I'm pretty sure they have awesome plants and they come in perfect condition. I've seen a lot of other people unbox their plants from there on Instagram and I just wanted to see for myself so I'll definitely share with you guys that unboxing experience. Um, but that is the most recent online plant buying experience that I've had and 
Um, only the second time I've ever done it, so I will let you know. Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, okay, so a couple people asked me just about updates of certain plants, so I'll go over those questions. My white ghost euphorbia. It's doing super well. I have it at Daniel's house on the patio. It is getting, it gets western light at the end of the day. I haven't seen any new growth on it yet, but it hasn't died or shown me any signs that it's unhappy. So I'm excited to have that plant. I haven't repotted it yet, but when I do repot it, someone asked me what my soil will be. I don't have a specific soil mixture, but definitely just something well draining and airy, lots of perlite, charcoal, and also lots of pumice. The next plant update question was about my variegated syngonium. And that plant is doing so so good and I'm extremely pleased with that because I just wasn't sure how it would react to my environment. I have had it in Daniel's house with no humidifier. Um, it's in an east window. It gets pretty intense sun rays, but it seems to be really enjoying that. I have noticed at least five or six new leaves coming up on the top. And so that's really exciting. I'm super, super excited to see more growth coming in. If someone asks me what my next wish list plant is, I will insert my wish list on the screen. It's not too long. Someone was saying that it's actually really short, <laughs> and that made me laugh. But the number one plant that I would really love off my wish list is the variegated monstera. I just have started to obsess over that plant lately and I feel like if one comes up online I'm probably gonna buy it. I just really really want one. I don't want a little one. I want a big one. I have my name on some wait list so that I'll get a notification when they have it back in stock. So we'll see how that goes but that is the number one plant that I'm looking for right now. The next question is what is my hardiest plant? I would say aside from cactus because cactus are obviously extremely hardy. I wouldn't say that succulents are hardy but cactus yes absolutely very hardy. My snake plants have been through a lot and they are so happy even so. So I think that that is definitely my hardiest plant. I have really big one and then I have a couple little ones. I pretty much treat them exactly like I treat my cactus and they're completely happy with that. So if you're looking for something low maintenance, snake plants are amazing. The next question is about fertilizing. So it asks, how often do I fertilize and what is my ratio? So in the growing season, I fertilize about once a month, if I remember. Sometimes I don't, but I don't over fertilize. So maybe I skip a month, if anything. And the ratio that I follow is just the recommended ratio on the bottle. I think that's always a good way to go because the concentrations on different fertilizers are different. I currently use just a all-purpose fertilizer and I would really like to, I don't know, experiment with other fertilizers and see what else is out there. I've been really interested in the, I think it's, I think it's like a phytoplankton fertilizer and it kind of stinks, but even though it's kind of smelly, I want to try it because I've seen a lot of other people have really awesome results with it. Okay, the next question is how do I deal with bugs and infestations? Okay, I'm going to knock on wood as I'm saying this. I have never had a severe infestation of a pest. I one time had white fly on one of my plants and once I realized what it was, it was way too late. The plant was so far gone. Other than that, I have never dealt with any sort of pest. I have thought that I had a pest. I had a sneaking suspicion that my Monstera adansonii had spider mites. I genuinely don't know what I would do if I did get a pest, but I do know that if it ever happens or you suspect there is a pest on your plant, you need to isolate it immediately so that it doesn't jump to all of your other plants. Okay, someone asked me what my least favorite plant is and why. Um, okay. I had a polka dot plant and the way that it looked when I first bought it was really cute and then as it grew older it started to stretch out because it wasn't getting enough light and it was just so ugly to me and I hated it. And now I know that if a plant is starting to stretch out, especially a plant like the polka dot plant, I should just be pruning it to keep it bushy. Alright, and the last question is which plant are you most proud to own? And I would have to say, let me go get her so that this really like... <laughs> This is my sweet darling Monstera Deliciosa and I grew this plant from a leaf that is much smaller than even this leaf right here that's starting to age and that was oh gosh probably a year ago now so in a year it put out five leaves three of which have splits and so I am just absolutely amazed I think that this plant is so gorgeous it is the most beautiful Monstera I have ever seen <laughs> if I do say so myself. So I am extremely proud of this plant and just, 
I don't know, the perseverance of both of us to grow from a single leaf. So that would be all of the questions. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.